<sighs> so it's been a hard few days y'all it's been a very very hard couple days ever since last week since i posted my first two videos of the week which was well since i made the first two videos of the week which were my trading days of last week it's been pretty difficult i'm not gonna lie and i think that it's been pretty difficult to uh, i don't know it's, i guess to cope or accept the fact that my account is now at zero because you get to a certain point as a trader that if you don't do the things you know you need to do in order for you to be successful in other words if you're not disciplined to become successful then you just get to a point where you can become mad at yourself when you are risking money when you are risking your own hard work hard earned money to become a trader to become part of the five percent of traders that haven't failed or that haven't given up to become part of that group then when you get to that point where you've had so much knowledge and experience that you just slip up and you don't do what you know you should do and the outcome is you losing money your hard-earned money then that just fucking sucks and i'm at a point where it sucks so bad for me that i just like get in a rut because i know not only not only have i lost my hard-earned money but number two, I didn't do what I know I should be doing in order to be successful. And it's like, I'm mad at myself about this because if this is what I want, then why in God's earth am I not doing what I got to do to become successful? It's like the simplest thing. Trading is so, 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 so simple if you just boil it down to do what you got to do to become successful. And this concept is just different for everyone. It's something that I like to say a lot, that I think about a lot because especially social media, especially on social media, the gurus and the furus that you see, that you see posting flashy stuff, that you see posting this, posting that, they will try to make it seem like you don't gotta take care of your mental health as a trader, that you don't gotta get quality sleep, that you don't gotta take care of your physical body, that you don't gotta go to the gym, that you don't got to um, eat good food, quality food that will help your brain, that will help you perform at a high level. They will make you. They will make it seem that instead of doing all that shit that I just said, that you have to go go to parties, that you have to go buy a Lambo, that you have to go smoke this or drink that or go to the strip club or just do certain shit that's just like I guess for the fame of social media. And you guys know. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys know I'm. I'm, I'm just spitting facts. I'm not even trying to bash no one. So as a result of that, you got to do what you got to do to become successful in the stock market. And what I've realized, what I've realized this past week, running on four hours of sleep a night, five hours of sleep a night, knowing that I shouldn't be trading with my hard earned money. What I've realized is that moving forward, if I don't, number one, get good quality sleep at night, regardless of some special circumstances where if my little baby's up all night and I have to be up uh, with him and then there's a there's good opportunity for the next day for me to trade regardless of special scenarios like that and if I'm not mentally present in the moment to be trading at a high level I'm just not gonna trade because that's me again you got to do what you got to do to become a profitable trader and for me I realized that I need good sleep for me to perform at a high level it's just what it's just what it is it's that that's what it is for me I, I love it kind of it kind of piggybacks on the fact that I love to work out and a big part of working out is recovery and recovery is getting quality sleep. So I feel like when I'm on the market, when I'm on the charts in the market, trading with zero sleep or trading with four hours of sleep, then I not only know and subconsciously that I'm not properly rested from my gains, but at the same time, I'm not performing at a high level for me to think clearly in the market. So with all that being said, this is a little bit of ism for you guys to, if you're a growing trader, if you're a beginner trader, if you're learning how to trade, that you gotta do what you gotta do after self-reflection, evaluation, and experience for you to be profitable in your own way. And for me, it means getting good quality sleep. So I've been in a rut these past couple days because I've been super angry at myself over the fact that I'm not, I'm still making these small little mistakes day in and day out, knowing I shouldn't be making them, but then I still do because I don't know what happens. I really gotta figure it out, but I will figure it out and um, the vlogs will continue. 
and um, my account is now at zero, so we are gonna fund it soon. I'm just gonna take today, tomorrow, maybe in the next couple days, reflecting on with this $140 account that I funded previously on around January 1st, that what did I do good, what did I do wrong, and I, we will go from there. We will, we, will, we will adapt to everything, adjust, and then we will move on and fund it again, so stay tuned. I'm out.